It's me, Mr. Miles. And welcome, welcome to the Orange County Library System's preschool story time program. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, our programs are based on the philosophies of every child ready to read, which models early literacy practices that you can do every day with your child, like reading, sharing stories and books, writing, even if it's scribbling or drawing or tracing, talking, having a conversation, going back and forth, even if one of you is babbling, and playing, using your imagination, role playing, and coming up with all kinds of different worlds. And one of my favorites, singing. Singing is a great way to increase the little one's vocabulary by getting bite-sized beats of vocabulary and songs in a slowed down rhythmic method. And it also is a great way for them to learn the rhythm of language. Now, we are gonna begin this program with a song. Yeah, we're gonna sing our hello song. And we're gonna practice our motor skills by saying hello. All right, everybody, take a deep breath. <gasps> Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Yeah! You guys sang awesome. You know what? That was so much fun. Let's sing it again. Deep breath. <gasps> Hello, everybody, and how are you? Yeah, how are you? How are you? Hi, hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you today? Awesome! Well, I'm doing great, thank you very much. In fact, you know, I'm so glad you're here because I've been looking for you. Have you seen you? I'm looking all around. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not you, I mean the letter of the alphabet. The letter U. There you are. Look. Do you recognize this letter? Yes, it's the letter U. Let's try to draw the letter U. We'll trace it with our finger. All right, we'll start at the top and we'll go down and then back up, woo! Let's do that again. Coming down, and back up, woo! The letter U. U is the name of the letter. You know, I've got a song that'll help us understand that. The letter's name is U. The letter's name is U. U is the name of the letter. The letter's name is you. Let's sing it again. The letter's name is you. The letter's name is you. You is the name of the letter. The letter's name is you. Good job. But you know, you is the name of the letter. But what is the sound the letter you makes? Hmm? Uh. Uh. Can you say that with me? Uh. 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 Yeah. <gasps> The sound you makes is uh. The sound you makes is uh. Uh is the sound you makes. The sound you makes is uh. The sound you makes is uh. The sound you makes is uh. Every letter makes a sound. The sound you makes is uh. Yeah, that's our letter U. You know, U is a very special letter because it has two sounds. Uh is the short U sound, and U is the long U sound. All right, we're gonna put our U to the side for a moment, and I want to think of some words that begin with the letter U. Hmm, what words begin with U? What words begin with U? Let's try to name a few. Some words begin with U. What words begin with you? What words begin with you? Let's try to name a few. What words begin with you? How about the word up? Up begins with you. And the word under. <laughs> under begins with you. And the word upset. <laughs> yeah, upset begins with you. And, a 
umbrella. <laughs> you makes a great umbrella. In fact, oh, seems like we're getting some unusual weather. Rain's coming. You know what? We better find some more umbrellas. Be right back. Well, as you can see, the rain continues to pour. <gasps> Seems like we're having a storm. We will need some umbrellas. Our letter U. <sighs> Let's see. Hey, can you help me put up some umbrellas? Let's count them together. We have a pink one, a green one, that's two, a blue one, a red one, and a yellow one. Oh, well, let's count them all together. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five umbrellas. Hmm? Oh, you're right. These umbrellas are upside down. <gasps> Let's turn them the right way around. The pink one, one. The green one, two. The blue one, four, three. You got that right. <laughs> the red one, four. And our yellow umbrella makes five. Oh, well, I hope we have enough. Five umbrellas hanging by the door. Someone took the pink one. And now there are, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four umbrellas. Four umbrellas looking pretty as can be. Someone took the yellow one. It's gone. And now we have how many left? One, two, three. Three umbrellas. Three umbrellas with not much to do. Someone took the red one. And now we have how many umbrellas are left? One, two. Two umbrellas. Well, you could use them in the sun. Someone took the green one. And now we have just one. One umbrella. Hmm. It's standing alone in the hall. Then someone took the blue one. And that was all. You know, adults and caregivers, this little rhyme is a great opportunity for your children to practice their colors and counting up and counting down. It doesn't matter what the objects are as long as you use the counting method and identify it with the object. One big rainstorm. I wanted to share with you some book recommendations that feature the letter U. The letter U as a short U, as in underwear. This is a very funny book. It's an alphabet book, which is a great book to share with your kids. It's also a board book, so it's nice and sturdy. U is for underwear by Jesse Levinson. And each letter, of course, is represented with a beautiful picture. Um, and it's great illustrated. So that's U is for underwear. And also our book, that's a classic, the Ugly Duckling, which has the short U sound. We all know this story. It's a great one to enjoy. The Ugly Duckling. Check them out. Hey, we're back with our celebration of the letter U. And as you can see here, we have a capital U and a lowercase u. Well, we already went over the sound of the U. The short U sound is uh, uh. Let's do a little letter recognition and see how many uh you words, well, words that have you, we can put together. <gasps> That'll be our first one. Put, P-U-T, put, good job. Um, how about 
Oh, I know. P U P. Pup. Put the pup. Up and C C U P cup put the pup inside the cup and lift her up. Cool. Let's keep going. What other words can we come up with that have the short U sound in them? How about you know what? R, where's our R? U, ooh, hmm, R, U, run, N, run. Let's run. Where should we run? How about we run in the S-U-N, sun. We'll run in the sun, cause that would be F-U-N, fun. Let's run in the sun, cause that would be so much fun. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, you know what? There's plenty more short U sounds we can make. Short you words. Let's find some like, <gasps> ooh, how about B-U-N, bun. Hmm, how about, <gasps> hmm, can you find a word that has the short U sound? How about B, U, G, <gasps> bug, yeah. How about R, U, G, rug. And <gasps> we got another one. Oh, it's a four letter word. S, N, U, G, snug. <gasps> I saw. A bug on the rug. It was so snug. I gave it a tug. It jumped up and now I need a hug. <laughs> so much fun with the short U sound. Big hugs. Now, I want to share a poem with you. It's a poem that I wrote, and it features the letter U. And every time I say a U word, I'll point to the letter U. Some of the U's are short U sounds. Some of them are long U sounds. I mean, they sound like U. And we'll start actually with a U word. Once, What's that word? Upon. There's our first U word. Once upon a magical time in a land far away, there lived a unique creature who didn't have much to say. Unexpectedly, a UFO came down from a universe unknown. The aliens walked out, upside down, and made this utopia their home. That's unusual, thought the creature, watching them, utterly amazed. Then the aliens, they 
stared at the creature with an unsure gaze. They unpacked useful utensils and uniforms and more. And then in unison, they asked the creature, what's that thing on your head for? The unique creature told them proudly, I've had it since I've been born. And unlike anyone you've ever seen, understand that I am a unicorn. The end. <laughs> you know, unicorns are, well, they're fantastical, mythical creatures. Yeah. They're not real. They come from fairy tales. You know what fairy tales are. Fairy tales are wild stories that come from our imagination, that tell us stories about very special creatures, like unicorns, goblins, fairies, giants, and some are about royalty as well. And the stories can take place in all kinds of fantastical lands, things that, well, who could have imagined? Maybe you can. Maybe you can write your own fairy tale. Maybe you can use the letter U as a start. Like, mm, my uncle was riding a unicycle while playing the ukulele. That's just the beginning. The rest is up to you. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today with our special celebration of the letter U. And I hope that you will join us again. And be sure to check out OCLS.info for more info and programs and events going on. Until next time, see you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.